John here guys and today we are talking about vast video aerial systems antenna products pulling out of FPV yes shocking I know and I wish that this news was not true but I wanted to get it out as soon as possible because this is indeed breaking news now I don't normally put out videos on Sunday, but in this case I had to make an exception because this news dropped last night and it is absolutely shocking. On one of the Facebook groups, Alex Grieve, who is IB Crazy, put the, on a very cryptic message saying that losing money on R&D, if I come out breaking even this year, I'll consider myself lucky. And that caused a firestorm of speculation, comments, and outpour of support from the community so i guess the rumor mill just went wild so a few hours later um a more comprehensive announcement was made on the rotary community basically saying by alex grieve rumors spread like wildfire and they're not exactly accurate so i want to be clear on this before it goes too far vast will continue to make the best fb pv products here in virginia usa i've decided simply that once this new batch of products is finished to stop research and development of any further fpv products the r d cost is simply higher than the industry is willing to sustain thus i'm focusing on research in other industries i simply am developing new technology for other industries that is all it was a culmination of several events that caused me to reach this decision most of these events i would rather not talk about as they have cost me a great deal financially and personally however i will say that cost of development or that it isn't just the industry that isn't willing to support the cost of development but more the lack of or the level of backstabbing dishonesty and greed that drove me to this decision now that is a troubling troubling message indeed it's quite upsetting that one of the main figures in this hobby would feel this way now i think we're all very curious about exactly what backstabbing and other juicy bits of information may have been going on but let's not focus on that let's focus on what this means for us in fpv now whether you realize it or not vas is one of the main contributors to allowing us to have this hobby of fpv in the state that it exists today the antenna functionality and advancements in that arena are one of the most critical pieces to allowing us to fly our quadcopters drones wings anything really that uses fpv and you know alex has been whether you knew his name or not one of the biggest contributors to that in fact you know him along with hugo at true rc are probably two of the biggest fixtures that have allowed us to do that now you know one of the examples of people doing it the right way are like lumineer which make the axi antenna but as you can see they're licensing that even on the box it says designed by true rc but unfortunately some of the products and development that alex has gone through has not paid off financially for him and you know guess what guys fpv is just not the hugest market and when he is basically an engineer in this space it can allow him to you know seek you know development dollars that will actually pay off in both military or civilian application with huge upside and very little downside potential that have both huge military and civilian applications now right now john so what that means is we're basically not helping him pay the bills so if you go and buy you know some kind of knockoff if that's basically taking his r d dollars and getting it to go to someone else that's just kind of you know standing on his shoulders using his designs and he's not getting compensated for that so it's just not becoming worthwhile so we have to support these innovators in fpv we have to another one that comes to mind is like kebab you know he has a day job he's making doctor money he doesn't have to bless the fpv community with his frame designs he could keep it all for himself but he's just deciding to share those designs those creations um, with everyone so this is very sad let's try to keep um 
putting our money towards these vast antennas i personally recommend this switchblade antenna it's so awesome being able to just pop this off pop the gray one on and switch to left hand at a race um god it's so great and this is only like 15 bucks and it comes with you know the stem and both um antenna tops so that's not a lot so we've got to support this guys now if we don't what's going to happen is he's going to pull out of fpv entirely and you'll no longer be able to get this wide array of ion min ion switchblade and other you know the pepper box all the other antennas that they make so you know this is why we can't have nice things guys this is exactly why so step it up let's show alex that we can actually support his business and hopefully we'll at least be able to maintain having his products available to us uh, and who knows if we really swing back hard enough we may be able to get some of those precious r d hours devoted to fpv now all of the antennas that he's made here are outstanding great wonderful designs but we want that r d to keep happening we want the ability to have clear vision in our goggles um, to keep continuing to grow you know there's three pieces here to this you know fpv system it's the fast shark goggles the immersion rc rapid fire mods but what everyone forgets is the antennas and the antennas is a critical part of that entire package so we need that technology to continue to, to improve to continue to um, grow along with the other components of this fpv setup not to mention the antennas that go on our quads so short and sweet guys um this is a sad day for us but if you're curious at what's going on exactly that's the news thanks